all you money makers. This is Indar Lang, and I'm super excited to talk to you about how to start a simple wholesaling company and just a quick way to get into this business where you have no money. This is where I think most of us start at, and let me go in through some quick and easy things that you can use, and I definitely recommend to check out. So let's do it, let's dive in today and how to jump into wholesaling and just get into real estate with no money. Let's do it, let's dive on in, let's go. This is gonna give you financial freedom. I'm literally gonna lay everything out step by step in all our podcasts and our YouTube episodes on how to do this and how to get the, the knowledge of how to grow and do this and for you guys to succeed. The little part of it all is you have to take action, but I will give you step by step, so please like, follow, comment, I love the comments, and just say something, say what's up. And uh, follow to the very end is when I always give my little ninja tips and tricks and everything, so. Let's go, let's dive on in. So start a little wholesaling company is honestly the easiest and quickest way to kind of get into your foot, you know, your feet wet into this business. I actually started out myself, just started an LLC really easily. I uh, went on Fiverr and bought some, it was kind of a waste. I spent too much time at trying to get a logo, trying to get a ringtone and a business plan. I bought all this crap on Fiverr that I didn't actually need. Thought I did, but really not important. Um, so if you're in there starting off the beginning, don't worry about all that stuff about your logos and company names and all that. Just create something really quickly um, or use your own personal name. It doesn't really matter really off the bat. Uh, not until you start making you know good money. You can always find deals. We found them off of uh, Craigslist. Craigslist back in 10 years ago used to be safe, but it's not really safe anymore. I'd say it's more of a junk. So. Um, the best way I think I think the number one software out there really is is, is PropStream, and this is what we're talking about. PropStream is probably the, and I'm I don't I think I have affiliate marketed for them, but I don't even I should have that set up for you guys. But uh, PropStream just hands down is probably one of the best all around uh, softwares out there. They're not cheap; they're about two hundred bucks a month. But on PropStream, you can find. A ton of information you can use that to run your comps you can analyze properties um, you can circle neighborhoods you can pull data on it they're pretty a well data driven website um, the only thing I would be careful of PopStream they're running comps and so forth they're sometimes about a month behind on some of their data because they're pulling it off the MLS and uh, sometimes they don't have the most most up-to-date the only uh, the best update date site is of course uh, MLS but PopStream, we use it all the time. It's, um, excuse me, I think it's 100 bucks a month uh, for the service. And um, you can circle a neighborhood. You can pull a list of all the people in that neighborhood. You can dwindle out that list, maybe some tax liens, some absentee owners. There's a ton of filters to try and put on there. Um, I would actually recommend the less filters, the better, and just using that whole list of everybody. Um, you know, sometimes you want to dwindle it down to a certain list if you want to, but if you're just doing a neighborhood or something specific, um, you know, more the better. You never know when you're going to get a deal sometimes. So PropStream is great for that. Um, you can um, get all the uh, people's information off there, all the, the name, the address, where they live, and all the great stuff uh, of that. Then after that, you do need to get their phone numbers and emails. So PopStream can use that services, but they're not cheap. Uh, I would recommend to use Batch Leads. Batch Leads is another 100 bucks a month uh, for that services, as well as it, it costs like five to 10 cents uh, per skip trace list. And what Batch Leads is just going to do, or Batch Skip, I should, I should say, is um, they're going to uh, pull really quality you kind of want to make sure it's quality information you want to make sure that that homeowner hasn't sold the property you know in the last month and you're just wasting your time and money there or um there's some um a scrub list you want to make sure your list is scrubbed um and scrub just means any do not call people should be removed off of there or um duplicates or you know just having the list really cleaned up um really is going to go a long way um, and then once you have that list now cleaned up, you have a list of all your people and you have phone numbers, emails, you know, their personal address as well if they don't live at the house, 
now you can really attack that list in so much different ways. And that's that's one of the two big steps right there is to really scrub a list, get a full list of full names, information, and then attack that list um, in any way possible. And the last key to it all is having a good dialing system. You're not gonna wanna be sitting there and dialing phones and calling, it's too much. When you get these big lists, uh, and I learned the hard way. I thought, oh, I had these lists of you know 300 people. You know, 300 people are not probably gonna get you a deal. You need to have some big list, a couple, you know, eight to 10,000 people you should be on your list. So when you have these kind of big lists, these dialers will just go right through them. And then that way, you know, your number doesn't get uh, you don't want to get you don't want to get recognized as a scam number yourself your personal phone number um, these dialers you can have uh, you know an 808 number any local number in the area um, and if they if those numbers get flagged for whatever reason you can switch numbers and so forth so having uh, you know a good number a good dialing system is really important more than just the dialing it's really the, all the other little things that are important to it all you know, and they can they can go through a bunch of numbers really quickly. So that that's amazing to have. And then also with that list too, I should say, you know, besides dialing, then you could try some uh, text blasting to them, sending texts out. Um, of course, ringless voicemails is great, um, as well as you can send letters. Um, you can do so much more with those lists, but just cold calling, getting going and getting dialing and just sitting down and taking, you know, two hours, three hours a day and try and go through a bunch of numbers, you know, could lock up a deal that quickly. So in this last segment, we have a question that we like to go through. Uh, we had a great question um, from Kiani, and Kiani asked, when, would, when will you retire from flipping? And that's a great question. I was talking to Josh Dorkin the other day on Maui, and he was talking about when's enough's enough, and when is enough enough, you know, even for anyone here, you know, we can all, any one of us, I'm sure, can just go to Bali and live, you know, like kings in some of these other countries. So when is enough enough? You know, uh, is a good question. You know, when would I retire from flipping? For me, uh, we, our flipping is pretty seamless. You know, we run it pretty good. Yeah, there's a lot of things and things to get over. But I think, um, I think I'll tone it down, of course, once we, um, kind of meet some goals. I'm trying to get some personal goals, uh, 84,000 a month net cash flow from our rental side of our portfolio. So once I hit that goal, I think we'll turn turn down the flipping a little bit. Um, or, and or I'm trying to build our flipping company right now into um, a business, a machine, you know, compartmentalize each segment of it all and create a machine so we can, uh, you know, I can step out of the business more and I can focus on you know, family, kids, or, um, you know, let the business do what it needs to do. Uh, we have some upcoming events that I'll be speaking at, Brad and Turner's Better Life Summit. I'm super excited about being there. I'll be speaking in Maui, May 22nd to May 23rd. I'll, I think I'm on a couple panels and it's gonna be a huge event. Brandon has some amazing events and his value is unreal. He, he just gives so much value to everyone there and you'll just love being part of that event. So if you're going to Maui, uh, we have a, a discount code. So anyone listening, message us and we'll give you a discount, discount code for the event. Um, register at the event at events at betterlife.com. Um, so check that out. Um, we're we're going to be there in full force, everybody in Hawaii. So show up, be a part of it, you know, network. This is how you get deals. This is how you grow. So come and check out our events, our brand is event, I should say. We have our own event next. Uh, we have some in-person uh, just meetups in the flips. We're going to do some of those stuff. And then we have our bigger, bigger events coming up as well. And some of the deals we have coming up uh, or Janesville is just about closed and I think we got funded and closed that um, and then all of a sudden today I think we just got three deals all in one day a rental a multifamily and a, um, a huge multifamily and a uh, just a simple fix and flip all in one day so stay tuned for that and uh, please like and subscribe and comment. Super uh, grateful for everyone out there. Message me, ask questions, and 
listen to the very end of everything because I'm going to start leaving some little tricks and tips and ninja tips throughout their deals. So thank you guys for following. Aloha.